Hey, hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about camping gear, right? I'm getting ready for Northwest World Reggae Festival and I'm going to go camping. It's going to be a couple days. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I do. Um, my back's not the greatest and so one of the things I have to take into consideration is getting a decent night's sleep and being able to make the drive back out, pack up my camp, and be able to walk after <laughs> three or four days out in the woods. Uh, so this is the system that I'm going with this year, I think. Uh, this is a little different. First year I'm trying out some stuff, so let me show you. Um, what I've come up with, which I really, really like, is to go with a cot. And I really like this one. It's a Coleman Packaway cot. Um, I bought this a long time ago, probably, gosh, seven, eight years ago, probably, maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. Um, and I actually had a different cot before it that had little springs, and it suspended kind of like a trampoline. Uh, but that was super noisy, and every time you moved it all, those springs would make noise, and it drove me nuts. So I saw this one on sale, and you can see it uses a suspended frame, and it is much quieter. It still makes noise. It's not perfect. No cot is, but cots are awesome. Uh, so if you have a bad back like me, what I used to do is I would do the cot, and then I would do three layers of my kid's uh, foam floor from when they were little babies. Uh, so we bought some foam flooring so they wouldn't hurt themselves falling over on the ground. And so we have a bunch of these kind of all over the place still. You can see we still use it on our floor, just we have neighbors down below us, so we try to be respectful. Uh, so what I tried out this year, uh, just tried to sleep on this for a night, and I didn't even put these down. I think I'm going to try maybe sleeping on these. Uh, problem with cots is they kind of dip and it's not great. Um, so what I would do is I would use three layers of foam and that would give a nice kind of a rigid support to this. Still a little bit of dip. Uh, but what I do now, try this out. I got myself just a simple twin single air mattress. This was 10 bucks over at Walmart. Um, so I went really cheap, really simple. I don't want to double. You imagine how tall this thing would be with a double and then if you <laughs> you rolled out of that that would hurt <laughs> anyway uh, so what I'm doing this year I got this idea um, I think Coleman actually sells a cot with an air mattress on top of it and I was like oh, I wonder how comfortable that is and I said for 10 bucks I could always return it um, but these are really nice the air valves are a lot better I used to do air beds and then I stopped doing air beds because they're not very comfortable you were constantly losing a ton of air overnight and you'd wake up in a hole basically <laughs> so that's where the cot was real nice and i did it up so i had the cot i had three layers of this foam and i actually went out and i got myself a twin uh foam topper um and that thing is awesome but you can imagine that takes up i'd come up in a small car and this whole bed setup with like a rolled up memory foam topper uh, takes up a ton of room. <laughs> it takes up like the whole back seat just about. So I got to bring up a small barbecue this year. So we're going to go smaller. This thing folds up to almost nothing. You can see how small that is. And then you know the airbed goes down to almost nothing. And then what I have, this is, uh, I'll tell you to buy quality stuff because this is the first pump I had from like what would it be? It would be like the first reggae I ever went to. I think I bought an airbed because I knew I was going to be out camping. That's what he said to go get was an airbed. Um, so I bought this. This is literally over a decade old, and it still works. <laughs> it blew up this. I'm going to take it with me. Motor's still running strong because I don't use it off that often, obviously. But the fact that it lasted over a decade is awesome. So I'm going to bring up a small battery pump. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this and go with it because this and this is almost nothing compared to what I used to bring up. And also the uh, memory topper is pretty heavy. It was actually pretty hard for me to move around and almost more weight than I should have been uh, kind of lugging around. So this is pretty cool. It's not perfect, but I didn't wake up dying. So I just need to get a decent enough night's sleep and be able to walk the next day. So I think this is going to work out, and I think I'm going to even try it with one or two or three of these because uh, the foam, you know, that'll be cool. And then if I feel like stretching out, I can put it on the floor at the campsite. So anything you bring camping with you, you should try to have at least two uses for it. <laughs> 
if you're going to bring that much volume with you, you try to have two uses for everything you bring. So anyway, I think this is going to work out. It's really comfortable. Uh, it's a little strange. You feel like you're kind of floating on air a little bit, which you are. Uh, they've improved these air beds, I think, quite a bit. And this is pretty comfortable for even being a single. And on top of a cot, man, I'll tell you, it's almost like sleeping in a real bed. So I think we're going to ditch the uh, memory topper and save that for days I'm doing car camping with almost nothing else in it. So like if I go up to Sierra Nevada, I'll probably bring my memory topper because that is actually a really awesome combination is this with one more layer of foam and then the memory foam topper. It's like having a real bed. <laughs> it's maybe even more comfortable than my real bed. So anyway, this is what I'm going to be going with. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to swing it over in a second and I'm going to show you my electrical setup this year. So this is what I'm going with. I have a super old phone. Every year this thing lasts and everybody says I should buy a new phone. But you know what? Every year it doesn't die is a year that I'm not spending a couple hundred bucks. So what I did do was I spent like 12 bucks for this thing on eBay. And uh, this holds four, they're called 18650. All right, we're back to it here. Oh, try not to break my cheap case here. So these are called 18650. If you put 18650 battery, these things are awesome. What these are are lithium ion batteries. I'm not sure how many volts. I don't even know if it's a real Samsung or not. That's always a question when you buy stuff online is whether or not you're getting the genuine like especially with electronics. So this is a combination, I think, of Samsung and Sony. And these are high drain. These are used for uh, vaporizers, like uh, electronic cigarette vaporizers. And these are really high quality because they can take a massive amount of current at one shot because uh, vaporizers use a lot of current. So, which also makes them a high quality battery. So let's go into it. Um, I have a emergency solar panel if you've watched some of my other videos that I made because uh, we had a bunch of power outages and for my business to come out, it could be without power for even a few hours if I need to print labels, it's it's just can't be, can't be happening. <laughs> so every day stuff has to go out. If you order, it's got to go out. So what I've come up with uh, bringing camping is I'll leave the solar panel at home. I think it's a little too much and I think it's a little too... I don't know. It's a little too much to bring camping. Uh, so they have these awesome power packs. You can get these for like 12 bucks and then you buy the batteries to fill them. And inside of here are four of these guys. So this holds four 18650s. Uh, I think it's like 12.8 amp hours or something ridiculous. Just incredible. So we'll kind of show you what happens when I... And they're a little strange. A little, you know, these aren't usually available in the US. So you see what happened is I had to unplug and replug my USB and then now it's charging. So these are cool. It tells you how many volts the battery has and it's using which battery bank and how many amps you're drawing, which is a pretty cool feature. So that's what I'll be bringing to charge my electronics in general. This has two USBs on the back of it and the really cool feature has three different kinds of plugs that you can charge with. So if you spend like the extra dollar fifty or two dollars, you get this model, and it has three different ways to charge it. So if you have an iPhone, you can charge it. If you have a Samsung, you can charge it. And I don't know which the other one is, but anyway, all three major charge cables will recharge this, and then um, any USB will plug in here. And you can charge my phone. And this phone is so decrepit, I have to charge it constantly throughout the day. But like I said, it still works, so why buy a new one? Anyway, so that's going to be that solution there. And so literally, I can bring like an extra set of batteries and this, and this will charge my phone for the whole weekend, no problem. Um, if you have some larger electronics that you want to do, this is part of my emergency uh, power solution for my company. And... This is just, I think it's a, what, a 400 watt power inverter made by Best Tech. And if you catch these on Amazon that we have Prime Day coming up or Black Friday, you can get this. I got this for 25 bucks. It's amazing and it works. And I've used it a bunch of different reggae's. 
and it's awesome. It has two plugs, has two USBs over here, two USBs over here, and the cool thing is when you connect it up to the battery, you don't have to turn it on. When you turn it on, that powers up the inverter, a fan will come on, it starts making noise, and then you have power to these two outlets. But if you don't do that and just plug it to battery power, it still has power to the to the USBs, so you uh, don't have to be using the extra drain of the fan and the inverter, and you still could have the USB power. So what I do, this guy right here, I don't know if this is for a golf cart or, no, not a golf cart. This could be like a battery backup. This could be a gate opener. Um, this might even be like some sort of powered scooter in conjunction with a few of these, they would make a powered scooter. So what you're looking at is 12 volt. And the other important number is 18 amp hours. That's basically how big the fuel tank is at 12 volts. So the more amp hours you have, the longer it'll be able to deliver power. So I'll probably bring one or two of these with me and that'll last the whole weekend. They're pretty heavy. It's probably like 10, 15 pounds, just this little guy right here because it's lead acid. But what's nice is it's called sealed lead acid. SLA is the abbreviation for that. And sealed lead acid means uh, I wouldn't recommend leaving it over on its side, but basically these can sit on their side probably. I leave mine up, right? But it's sealed. There's no maintenance on it, um, and it makes it a lot easier, and you don't have to worry about spilling battery acid everywhere. So basically, uh, just this couple of simple things, and you could certainly power uh, some small electrical devices. Um, some people use e-cigarettes, uh, some people use electronic vaporizers, there's all kinds of different things that people might bring with them. That you might need some power, um, or if you have a small sound system that you want to bring with you, um, although I do know that they tell you not to bring something too big, because <laughs> it's kind of rude. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be my power solution and my bed solution. You've seen my cooking solution already in a different video and like kind of what I'll be eating on. I think that's about it. I might do one final video about my complete pack list. Uh, like I said, I kind of went bigger and then this is kind of going smaller. So you can see here, this is really compact. It doesn't take up much room um, and it's really not ostentatious like as far as you know you're not bringing an enormous battery pack that has an air compressor and you know 520 features to it so it's easy to bring with you and then the thing I like about that rather than going with like a power pack is if individual components go out then you can just replace them like I can replace the inverter if that goes out battery goes out I can replace that and all this stuff takes up just a tiny little bit of room in a box. Um, or you can go with a power pack. Those are nice too. Uh, have a lot of features. A little more expensive than, you know, 25 bucks. And I got this before uh, tariffs went in place. So, you know, this was like, I think 15 or 20 bucks. Uh, now it's probably 30 bucks after uh, we started tariffs. So anyway, uh, that's what I'll be doing. And I think we'll wrap it up. And uh, can't wait to see everybody out at Northwest World Reggae Festival. I hope everybody has their tickets and they're all set. I'll see you there. See you later, everybody.